Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, November 2nd. Thank you so much for joining in to our weekly HCR webinars. My name is Deb Wilkinson. I'm the Vice President of the Health Plan Options Department here at URL. I oversee the group health market as well as what is left of the individual segment in Pennsylvania. Um, we do have some new folks on the call today, so you are, you are definitely encouraged to ask questions and uh, hopefully learn from the questions being asked. Uh, and you can ask those questions in one of two ways. You can click your hand icon to the right of your screen on your control panel, or you can type in your questions in the question box, and I will answer those at the end of the webinar. I do have two handouts uh, in the control panel. One is the um, IHC metal gap plans, and the other is the National General Short Term Short short-term rule flyer in the event that uh, the limitation on short-term policies would be removed. Um, so just with a quick show of hands, if you can let me know if you can hear me all right and see my screen, awesome. Uh, we were having some connectivity problems this morning. Um, evidently, a lot of people in our our neck of the woods um, had some internet issues uh, being down. So hopefully everybody can hear me and uh, we'll just continue on. If, if something happens that you lose uh, connection, I will continue on the webinar, continue recording, and you will automatically get a recorded version. So let's just jump right into it. Um, you know, the chip, there is a chip in, CHIP extension in the 2018 federal budget. It includes federal cutbacks, so changes may come to Pennsylvania in the form of product changes to uh, the Medicaid, I'm um, sorry, the CHIP program and or new taxes. Again, this is my speculation. This is nothing that I've talked to anyone of authority to find out, but um, I find it hard to believe that some of the cutbacks um, that in funding that have been proposed um, will will not affect us in some way by re, you know Pennsylvania recouping those through taxes or other means. Um, so could the elimination or repeal of the individual tax penalty penalty be included in tax reform? If so, would it help or hinder tax reform? Um, you know these are the questions that we're waiting to find out. Um, they <clears throat> pardon me, there's been discussion about including it, but some people feel that if they include the individual tax penalty within that budget, that it stands a chance of not, um, you know, or the tax reform stands to not go through without a hit. So again, th these are all things to come, but um, definitely would love to see that eliminated for the most part. Uh, there was legislation that was introduced both on the House and the Senate side, and it's bipartisan talking about 40 hours is full-time act uh, as opposed to the 30 hours. So the, it did pass the House last year, but it was never reintroduced into the Senate. So it looks like hopefully that it's on a fast track and maybe that will change that um, the requirement for the 30 hour rule will uh, be eliminated and move to 40. Again, that's not a done deal yet. So business as usual, but it is kind of a glimmer of hope. Welcome to fourth quarter 2017 and open enrollment 2018. So it's been a crazy sort of year. Carriers have definitely gotten everything out, um, you know, on the group side and the individual side later than uh, normal. And it's always been pretty late when it comes up to this 11-1 date. Um, but we are here to help you. Uh, we do have a flyer for consumers. Uh, that I can email to you if you are not in the individual market. It gives you a nice, a nice uh, flyer to hand out or put on your website for your individual clients, uh, and it helps them, you know, gives them details on how to get coverage through all of the carriers that are offering on and off marketplace. So if you want that, shoot me an email and I'll get that to you. Um, but it is rather hectic, and again, we're we're doing uh, what we can. We are here to support you and um, you know, hopefully you know that. Highmark Direct Blue, UPMC Pinnacle, not 
participating uh, in those EPO Direct Blue programs. I want everyone to be aware of that because obviously for Dauphin County, that's a huge issue if the Pinnacle systems are not in there. Um, Hershey Med is the only carrier in Dauphin County. And Capital Blue Cross, I did confirm UPMC Pinnacle is in network, so that's a good thing. Highmark 1-1 group renewals, uh, just wanna let you know that we have, we have them. Um, we were waiting to release all of them until some of the glitches were worked out in the system and our typical protocol is to get the renewal in, offer the alternatives within the carrier and then look at alternatives outside of the current carrier. Um, but with the delay in the rates, and some of the issues that Highmark has been experiencing about the SBCs and, and everything, um, we did delay that. We're not going to delay it anymore. We are getting them out, uh, the one ones, if you've not already received them yet, uh, they will have the, the uh, Highmark alternatives, but um, what we would like you to do is look at all of those programs uh, and the alternates, and if you want to see um, alternate plans within the carrier that you haven't seen or with another carrier, just reach out to your new business specialist, Thomas or Katrina, and they will quote it for you. I mean, obviously, it's later than we wanted, um, but we just wanted to make sure that you had everything you needed, and unfortunately, we can't wait any longer. So um, please know that you'll get them, but we are happy to help with alternate rates, and you just need to ask. And ask sooner rather than later, because um, if you wait to the last minute, there is that cattle shoot that uh, we kind of get get uh, caught up and backed up. So National General short-term products, the short-term by four back and back-to-back -back flyer that is attached, that talks about what will happen if this law is, if there, the reprieve is given for the 89-day rule, essentially, um, uh, National General said that they would convert all plans to, uh, you know, year-long plans, take out the reset of deductibles, so they have a system down packed if, if the uh, law changes. So let's cross our fingers, but nevertheless, it is still a good option for your folks um, that do not want to go through the marketplace or off-marketplace for those that are, are not heavily subsidized, and you know, for those that just can't afford um, unsubsidized coverage on or off, it's a good option for them. It does not eliminate the individual tax penalty, at, and it will be enforced according to um, the government, um, but it does give that assurance that you go in one time, enter the application, and you get four consecutive 89-day policies. So it's a nice alternative to the ACA. Uh, speaking of alternatives, uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, we have our webinar on the introduction of our Christian HealthShare Ministry Plan. It is, uh, I think, pretty unique. It's a bundled sort of product. You're not selling the Christian HealthShare Ministry Plan, uh, so there's no errors and omissions sort of issues that may uh, come up. What you're selling is a limited medical plan uh, in combination with a GAP plan and uh, critical illness is certainly optional, but premiums alone are about 50% less than what you can get in the unsubsidized market, and uh, it, it offers some, some comprehensive coverage. Uh, uh, the other caveat, the most important caveat, is that because they would be joining uh, the Christian HealthShare Ministry, they are exempt from any individual tax penalty. So again, it's an alternative, uh, better rate, but again, it's not for everyone. You do have to uh, agree that you are a Christian. You have to be a non-smoker. There is pre-ex. Um, you know, it's not one size fits all, but it is an alternative. And hopefully you'll join us tomorrow to learn more about it. So let's talk about how the heck can you quote individual medical. And I'm going to bump out here and go to our website. We do have a new designed website. There is information in my newsletter about the, the website. For everyone on this call, you're either an Aries or Gemini. Gemini, of course, is our elite agent partners that agree to really do everything through URL. Uh, Aries are our traditional brokerage insurance agent services. So you would click on the Aries button, and then you'll see everything that you saw previously. To quote, I wanted to um, 
certainly let you know that there are, um, if you go, go here, just keep going, um, individual health, you will see that we have updated our site with all of the carrier paper rates. We did just get the carrier or ca uh, cat blue cross rates in yesterday. But if you want to quote, um, I, excuse me, let me go back here, quoting tools. You can go to our, oh, uh, please. And our site is slow today. I apologize. Again, it's, you can blame it on me. Um, so let's quote health insurance market portal. This quote's only on marketplace. You cannot enroll from here, but it does give you the option to quote individual major medical and estimate a subsidy. So I, I wanted you to at least be aware of that. Again, play around with our website because um, I, I think, you know, visually it looks different, but but of course, um, if you just go into the ARIES segment, it's exactly the same. If you're more curious, listen to the recorded webinar that's in my newsletter. And if you have additional questions, please give me a call. I'm happy to talk about our new website. So food for thought, bronze plans. Um, what's happening this year because of the huge increase in the silver plans, people that were subsidized may actually receive a larger subsidy. And there are more zero cost bronze plans now that you'll see for those subsidized folks. So my question is, why not sell a bronze plan at zero cost and add a gap or a limited medical plan to work in combination with that zero cost bronze plan? Again, you can use the limited medical plan that we're gonna talk about tomorrow. Um, you know, as a standalone without the Christian Health Share Ministry, or you can add the GAP program through IHC that, you know, really feeds right into those bronze type plans. Uh, so again, I, I wanted to at least throw those out there as options. And let's talk here about commissions, because this is why I'm, I'm trying to um, encourage you to sell other products in combination with the individual major medical. There are commissions being paid this year, but they're not fantastic. They're not going to certainly provide, you know, a college fund for your children. Um, it will just at least give you a little bit. So here are the carrier commissions. We talked this to, about this, the, the $10 for, for new uh, UPMC business per member per month, $5 for renewal. That is the select and partner networks only. Uh, Tower Health, which is the Berks County, um, that is also paying. Um, so again, that's that's a different network, but it is paying. Independence, uh, they are including commissions and in that commission statement or um, commission schedule is in my newsletter as well. Uh, renewals for Capital Blue Cross only, which is $5 total per member per month. And that splits four and one, four to you and one to URL. Many of you that had the personal blue, um, which is the non-ACA plans, the plans that Capital had before the ACA was signed, they are renewing for another year. You should have gotten some information on the renewals. They are still the cheapest thing in town, so I don't see a lot of people moving from that personal blue program from Capital. Um, but again, they are they are out, uh, so you should have those renewals as well. And hi, Mark, I do have another slide. Geisinger, it's renewals only. I'm still getting clarification on it, but I believe it's 3% as it was last year. No plan details yet. Actually, that's not true. We did just get some stuff in and it's being uploaded onto our, our website. And of course, Aetna, no plans um, on or off marketplace in Pennsylvania. Here are the Highmark Commission, Central Pennsylvania. The EPO's new business is ten dollars uh, per member per month total, so that's eight and two. Renewal is actually higher, so if you have somebody currently with Highmark and you put them into an EPO plan, um, you get a higher comp, which is nine sixty for you, two forty for us, and the PPO is zero for new business and the four and one split for renewal. Western PA is the four and one um, for renewal and zero for new business. Marketplace is zero. Uh, Highmark East, which is formerly uh, NEPA, the HMO new business is a total of six. And of course, you see the split here, and that's for renewal as well. And then PPO 
for on and off is zero and just renewal business only. Um, so not great news, but again, it is at least something. Um, and whatever happens in Washington at this point, the rates are set. You know, we're, we're two days now into a six week short selling season and there is nothing that's going to come out of Washington that's going to change anything about what you are doing in the individual market if you're still doing that. And for that matter, nothing that's going to come out that is going to change a uh, group at this point. So it is business as usual. And uh, again, I hope you know that we're here to help and uh, reach out and let us know how we can help you. So let's see the questions. That's uh, our open forum now. Let's see. Um, Mike asks, what's the renewal process for existing individual medical plans, notification, timeline, and actions needed by 1215, and what, do, what to do here in Lebanon County without CBC and Highmark having 20% increases, especially for those off the marketplace? Um, Mike, I'm going to have to answer those questions one at a time, and I will um, let you know about Lebanon. I thought that actually Highmark was in there and capital was not, but again, let me look on that um, and I'll get back to you. The, the notification letters um, were to go out yesterday, so your client should be getting those soon. And, you know, let's, let's talk, Mike, about what options are out there. I would encourage you to go to our website to that quoting link because that's where you're really going to see what's out there in Lebanon. And Joe says, any idea when the capital individual health renewals will be mailed out? Yeah, Joe, they, um, I, I actually answered you via email last night, and they are set to go out today. Neil says, did you mention Tower Health? Do they have a product? Yes, they do. Uh, UPMC, Neil, has a product, and it's in Berks County. Tower Health is the network. Oh, Mike says, Lebanon does have high mark, but it's a 20% increase. Um, Mike, you know, I think they're faced with what everybody else is faced with. It's high cost unless you're heavily subsidized. If you're not heavily subsidized, then maybe some of the alternative plans would work. Um, you know, look at those bronze plans and a gap plan. Uh, that's going to cut down the cost, but uh, there's no magic pill out there. There are some pockets, and certainly the unsubsidized folks are really going to be feeling the pinch of these rate increases for sure. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't have a magic solution um, for them other than to think outside the box and think of these alternate uh, carriers and looking at the bronze plans. And Margie says, when do you expect URL will be able to quote group plans for January 1st, 2008? Um, we can quote some, but we can't quote all. And uh, we are waiting for Highmark's uh, approval on our quoting system to release those rates. They have had some problems, so clearly we can't quote them without them being on there. So we're trying. <laughs> That's why we're getting the renewals out with the alternative. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to quote those. You know, we've been told, we were told last week, the end of last week. We were told um, the beginning of this week. And with the glitches that Highmark has experienced, they can't get those rates loaded into the system. They are out on um, the websites for the carriers and resources and of course in the insurance department uh, but who wants to deal with paper rates so if you can wait uh, we should be able to get those out uh, we're hoping uh, next week if not earlier so that is seems to be all of the questions uh, today and as always I truly appreciate you joining in Keep your chins up. I know it's, it's a tough time of year for everyone in this health segment, whether you're individual or group or both. And of course, many of you also do Medicare. So um, we're here to help. I, I know I'm stressing that a lot, but I want you to know that we are here to help. So please let us know what we can do to make this easier for you. And uh, we will do everything in our power to make sure that uh, it's, it's a good transition for fourth quarter for everyone. Um, as always, I appreciate you joining in. Our next webinar is Thursday the 9th, and I look forward to talking with you then.
Have a great balance of the week and a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.